And it's a mystery that is buried deep in Dallas history. A slave convicted of a brutal axe murder became the first woman then in Texas sentenced to die. But why did she do it? And was she actually guilty? Andrea Lucia reports tonight on the efforts to bring her story to light. There's the Dallas history everyone knows. And then there are stories like this one. Remember this is the world premiere of uh, the Ballad of Jane Elkins was here. It's so tiny. Playwright Anika McMillan Herod first heard the tale from her grandmother. We father find that the defendant is a slave. Her play tells the real life story of a slave named Jane, the first woman legally hanged in Texas. Because the play opens with her hanging, it's a shocker. Until she is dead. The hanging happened here in what's now downtown Dallas in May of 1853. We the jury find the defendant guilty. Jane was convicted of using an axe to murder Andrew Wisdom, a widower who'd leased her to care for his children. The play explores the theory Jane, like many enslaved women, was a victim of rape. And not having control of anything, your life, your mind, your children, your body. It was a reality and it has to be explored. But not everyone accepts Jane was guilty. I feel that she was falsely accused. George Keaton is the founder of Remembering Black Dallas, a nonprofit dedicated to memorializing victims of racial violence. She was an enslaved person. She did not have any rights. It was Jane, a journalist later wrote, who reported the murder had accused a prominent citizen of the crime. Maybe this prominent man killed him and, and made it sure that she would get the blame for it. Eight years before the start of the Civil War, her word meant little. It was not recognized as a fact or as truth or even admissible in the court. There was really no proof, no evidence. This is the actual trial transcript. Do you remember what it was like to find this? Pretty exciting. <laughs> Terry Baker spent years digging up details for his book on hangings and lynchings in Dallas County. She sold for $400. The oldest record of her he found was a bill of sale. It's pretty amazing uh, to list somebody like that and put a, put a dollar value on their life. She later became property of the Elkins family, who hired her out to Mr. Wisdom northwest of town. The bloody axe was laying there on the floor right by his cot. Details of the investigation aren't clear, only the conclusion. And some of them, you know, are just feeling their age. Christine Sharbro is a manager in the Dallas Library's archives on local history. It's here she showed us the original handwritten record of Jane's trial. The state of Texas versus Jane, a slave, for the charge of murder. A court clerk documented her plea of not guilty, her complete silence in court and her sentence. Hang the said Jane by the neck until she is dead. Jane appears as fleeting mentions elsewhere too. Probate records and slave schedules always as someone's possession. We don't know her age, her birthplace, or if she had children. No one, it seems, thought any of that worth writing down. Well, her one story really represents many stories. George Keaton thinks it's worth preserving what we do know. He's now working to get a state historical marker dedicated to Jane here in Dallas's Martyrs Park. Her life is worth knowing about and also about documenting as a part of history. It is a part of Texas history and as a part of Dallas's history. These are the things that we pave over. That we it's a piece of history that can be painful to remember, but it's one that happened. It's one that mattered. So if we don't tell our stories, if we don't put these markers out or write these plays that unearth the stories of those who had no voice, whose responsibility is that? Swing my way into freedom. In Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. And just so you know, this month, the Ballad of Jane Elkins will be published in a series of plays. And the application, by the way, for a state historical marker that Andrea was talking about, that is awaiting a signature from the city of Dallas.